Today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Reduce your ping time and get faster speeds when you game at expressvpn.com slash inside. Welcome to Inside Gaming. I'm Brian. It's weekend roundup time. So it's no secret, guys. The Switch has sold like hotcakes. And now we're maybe seeing a new portable competitor on the horizon. Some, some new people getting into the act. And it's from an unlikely source, Valve. Apparently, yes, that apparently this is a thing. Ars Technica reports that Valve has secretly been building a Switch-like portable portable PC designed to run a large number of games on the Steam PC platform via Linux. And the plan is apparently to launch this by the end of the year. This week, Steam DB operator Pavel Dudznik noticed that the change in Steam's code mentioned a new device called Steam Pal. So what is Steam Pal? Well, Ars Technica says it's an all-in-one PC with gamepad controls and a touch screen. And that could have been what Valve boss Gabe Newell was alluding to recently during that panel in New Zealand. Zealand when he was asked if Steam would be porting any games to the console. Remember, he replied, you'll have a better idea of that by the end of the year, and everybody gasped, and he was like, and it won't be the answer you expect. You'll be like, aha, now I get what he was talking about. Could have been this portable, the Steam Pal. Ars Technica says that the so-called Steam Pal will have a system on a chip, probably coming from either Intel or AMD. They also said that at least one prototype version is, quote, quite wide compared to the Switch. Ooh, got a dog with Switch out like that. And that the extra width, quote, accommodates a slew of control options. They added that Valve has, quote, packed in a standard array of gamepad buttons and triggers along with a pair of joysticks and at least one thumb-sized touchpad in addition to the device's touch-sensitive screen. And like the Switch, it'll include the option to dock to larger monitors via a Type-C USB port. So there you go, pretty juicy stuff. Obviously, the Switch has sparked a lot of renewed interest in portables. A lot of people thought that mobile phones would kill portables, the Switch proved that was wrong. Lots of people have been calling for Sony to get back into the market. I would love that. But if this is true, it looks like Valve is going to be the next big player to get into the space. Obviously, Valve's hardware track record, spotty to say the least, but the Valve Index, that was pretty good. It was well received. Ars Technica said that the Index saw Valve, quote, streamline its manufacturing process with something resembling significant quality control. So there you go. We'll have to wait and see. All right, we'll get to the rest of the stories in just a second. But first, guys, let's talk purple. The world these days, an extremely uncomfortable place. You know it. I know it's getting muggy here in Texas. Woo! Not looking forward to that swamp feeling you get anytime you're outside for more than five seconds. I'm sweat. I'm sweating right now just reading this ad. One thing I can trust to keep me cool and comfortable is my purple mattress. It is a true oasis in the heat because only purple has the grid. What's the grid? That's the stretchy gel material, super supportive for your back and your legs, cushions, your shoulders, and keeps you cool thanks to its design. Purple's grid doesn't trap air. Air just flows right through it. That's what you want so you don't overheat. I have a purple pillow. It's great for my neck. I don't get a crick in it when I wake up. It just keeps it totally stabilized. I get a good night's sleep. And when you get older, that is all you want, a good night's sleep. You can try your purple mattress risk-free with free shipping and returns. Financing is available too. Purple really is comfort for an uncomfortable world. Right now, you'll get 10% off any order of $200 or more. Go to purple.com slash roundup10 and use promo code roundup10. That's purple.com slash roundup10. Promo code roundup10 for 10% off any order of $200 or more. Purple.com slash roundup10. Promo code roundup10. Terms apply. All right, on to the rest of the story. Speaking of portables, we have more reports that the upgraded Switch is due out this year. Bloomberg reported that the so-called Switch Pro is expected to be shown before E3 of this year. That should be uh, pretty soon then. And Eurogamer also confirmed it with its own sources. Bloomberg said the new Switch will be released in September or October, and it'll gradually replace the current baseline Switch. That's gonna be phased out over time. Switch Lite's still gonna stay in production though. Like other consoles, the Switch has been hampered by part shortages, but apparently it hasn't been hurt as bad by the lack of chips like the Series X and the PS5 because it uses different components. That makes sense. Of course, the upgraded Switch has been rumored for years now, but Nintendo still has not officially confirmed. You gotta assume it's real though. Uh, Nintendo regularly does these product refreshes and there's just too much reporting around it, so. 
probably hear about it very soon. Big news for Dragon Quest fans. Yes, they had a live stream. And uh, why am I cheering? I wrote this. Like, I know what the news is. They had a live stream in honor of the series 35th anniversary. Oh my God, I'm so old. And announced a bunch of new games. And for the first time, the stream was translated into English. That poor translator, she did her best too. But it's a good sign that the series has been seeing some renewed success after Dragon Quest XI. Okay, so what did they announce? Well, the big news, Dragon Quest XII is in production. Now, we just got a graphic and we got a title, Dragon Quest XII, The Flames of Fate, but definitely a darker tone. They described it as Dragon Quest for adults. So good, I can feel like an adult now. Also announced was an HD 2D remake of Dragon Quest III. Looked very Octopath Traveler-ish. If you aren't familiar with III, um, it's my favorite game of all time. It came out in 1988. It is a classic of the JRPG genre and it's gonna get a worldwide release. So I will play that for the millionth time. They also announced Dragon Quest Treasures. That's a spinoff of Dragon Quest XI and Dragon Quest Keshi. That's a puzzle game for mobile. Oh, and some new content for the MMO Dragon Quest 10. Sadly, just for Japan. Boo. They made it very clear. There was a little thing. No plans for a worldwide release. Boo. And I was like, whatever. They are, oh, but they are doing an offline Dragon Quest 10. Uh, they didn't say that was for a worldwide release either. Though, so. Oh well, still a lot of good stuff. All right, moving on, we've got release dates for two upcoming Pokemon games. The Pokemon Company announced that Pokemon Legends Arceus, that's the new action RPG that's gonna come out January 28th of next year. It takes place long before the events of Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl. Of course, your job, what else? To create and complete the region's first Pokedex. Meanwhile, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, those are the remakes of the 2006 DS games, due out later this year, November 19th. And of course, they are all coming to the Switch. All right, you know how Sony pulled Cyberpunk 2077 off the PlayStation Store after it launched? It was very suspect, didn't run that great. Well, five months later, it is still not there. And CD Projekt Red says uh, they're still waiting on Sony's approval to put it back up. In a shareholder meeting, CEO Adam Kaczynski said through a translator that we are still in discussions and with every patch, the game gets better and there is a visible progress. But as we said, the decision is an exclusive decision of Sony. So we are waiting for the information about the fact that they took the decision to bring back this game. A little weird on the translation, but you, you get the gist. Until then, I'm not able to tell you anything more. So Sony still not putting Cyberpunk back up. They're gonna be like, no, this thing has to run perfectly before we're gonna let this back up. And we'll see. All right, time for a five second review. This is the craziest game I've ever played. It's like Rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy, except like 20 times crazy. Rocket just seems like oh, pretty normal. That's much more believable than this game. It's fun though. All right, let's talk about the games coming out next week. First up, Operation Tango. It takes two to save the world, get it to the Tango. In this cooperative spy adventure, pair up with your friends as agent or hacker with only your voices to connect you and work together to bring a high-tech global menace to its knees. It comes to PC, PS5, Xbox Series X, PS4, and Xbox One. June 1st, Stonefly. Harness the wind and soar through the wilderness of Stonefly, a chill and tranquil action adventure game about self-discovery, legacy, and belonging. Glide your mech strategically among beautiful flora and dangerous fauna confronting hungry bugs, adventures, and memorable characters. It comes to PC, PS5, Xbox Series X, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. June 1st, Super Animal Royale. It's a fight for survival. Super Animal Royale is a 64-player frenetic top-down 2D battle royale where murderous animals fight tooth and claw and machine gun across an abandoned safari park. It comes to the Xbox One June 1st. Pro Cycling Manager 2021. Manage one of 80 teams in over 260 races and 700 stages from strategy to recruitment to I guess trying not to get caught doping it's up to you alone to make the best decisions experience more realism and authenticity with the new features added for 2021 it comes to PC June 3rd Tour de France 2021 with the yellow jersey of the official game of the Tour de France 2021 all 21 stages and the biggest classics are included experience a new objective system a redesigned my tour mode and other new features again try not to get caught doping it comes to the PC 
PS5, Xbox Series X, PS4, and Xbox One, June 3rd. Winds of Change. Experience the ultimate furry tale. Oh no. Lead the rebellion to bring peace back to a land tarnished by unjust and cruel rulers. Delve into a fully voiced, captivating story, accentuated by stunning art, difficult choices, and deep relationship. Comes to the Switch June 3rd. DC Superhero Girls Team Power. Suit up as the DC Superhero Girls and save Metropolis. Join the fight as Wonder Woman, Supergirl, and Batgirl from the animated series DC Superhero Girls save Metropolis from some of the most notorious supervillains. Comes to the Switch June 4th, Evergate. It's a haunting 2D puzzle platformer set in a stunning hand-drawn vision of the afterlife with an original score recorded by a live orchestra. Navigate 85 challenging stages, unleash the extraordinary powers of the genre-defining Soul Flame to help a lost soul reincarnate on Earth. Comes to the PS5 June 4th, The Last Kids on Earth and the Staff of Doom battle hordes of zombies and monsters in this game, which is a semi-open world action RPG that tells a new story in the post-apocalyptic town of Wakefield. Play as team survivors, you'll explore zombie-infested streets on your quest to stop Melandre, a powerful adversary, from obtaining the Staff of Doom. It comes to the PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch June 4th, The Persistence Enhanced. Survive aboard a doomed deep space colony starship overrun with horrific and murderous aberrations. Explore, evade, and fight your way through the depths to bring the ship back to Earth. Gather resources, upgrade abilities, fabricate an arsenal of weapons in this sci-fi horror roguelike. Comes to the PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X June 4th, and last but not least, Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2. If this is a modern warfare shooter set in the Middle East, play as Raven, contract sniper assassin as you take out a series of targets across a dramatic single-player campaign with extreme long range shots exceeding a thousand meters gear up for the most challenging entry to the series yet it comes to the pc xbox series x ps4 and xbox one june 4th that's all the news i got for you this week i hope you guys are having a great weekend we'll see you soon